Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for July 11th, 2022. Well, doggone it, we have been locked in this choppy range. As you guys remember, a couple of weeks ago, I mentioned that possibility that we could just get stuck in a trading range as we wait for earnings. Well, that earnings um, season is just about to begin on Thursday. And unfortunately, we have a lot of data points coming our way this week, adding to some of the uncertainty. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, by golly, if we take a look at this chart, we rallied up pretty good, but we just didn't quite make it up there through that price resistance in the chart before we saw those sellers come back into play. Now we still have this hopeful little upside going on in here, whether or not we can hold that, that's what we're going to be watching for. And we have a little tiny bit of price support in here that maybe we could count on being supported by the bulls. But if we take a look at our technicals in our charts, they're still very, very challenged. You can see holding underneath the 34 EMA, 50 EMA continuing to decline underneath the 500. We've got some work here to do. And I think the question is going to be, will the data points that we get this week be enough to push us up to test those levels or could we be going the other direction? Um, certainly both are possible as we continue in this overall downtrend in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY, SPY. SPY, we had a lot of hope here with the big push in the NASDAQ, but doggone it, they just weren't quite able to deal with that price resistance there in the chart. And you can see that extends right across through there. Downtrend in the trade um, remains intact. We still have this hope of this little bit of an uptrend, a little tiny bit of price support in that chart. But our technicals here in our charts certainly are not showing all that much improvement. Yes, we're above our 20 day moving average, trying to lift that up but so far we haven't been able to show enough strength even to come up through that 34 ema and maybe even test that 50 day and with the data points coming at us this week who knows what the answer for that will be um, i think everyone is kind of um, holding their breath um, trying to trying to um, deal with the uncertainty of what comes next if we take a look at the qqq those big techs had the best of last week for sure, as uh, there was quite a little bit of speculation on those big techs and we pushed up through that downtrend. But unfortunately, we just kind of stalled right there at that price resistance in the chart. And as you can see, we still have significant price resistance above that we're going to have to get through. Now, certainly this upside little trend gives us that little bit of hope. And if we can actually hold that um, downtrend as support, if we can hang in there, hold that downtrend as support, then there is that chance that we could hold this upside trend and get moving to the upside. I know there's an awful lot of hope in big techs that they will be able to do that. Um, unfortunately, what we're seeing over in Hong Kong um, um, last night is that Hong Kong tech sold off hard. And I don't know if that will translate over here into the U.S. as we kind of wait and see what comes next in these data points. Of course, our technicals here, we rallied up and we just gave, as you can see right there, we kissed that 50-day moving average, but we'll backed away from it, wasn't quite able to push up through there. And as I said, QQQ had the best of, of last week, and we'll have to see if they've got the energy or follow through from those bulls to push us through that 50 day moving average. Or if the bears come back and um, just deliver us another disappointment around that 50 day and downtrend. Let's take a look at our Russell IWM. 
also had a pretty good rally last week, but unfortunately really didn't resolve anything. Continuing in a downtrend, struggling with that price resistance in the chart. Now, certainly we do have that upside opportunity and little bit of support in there, but our technicals here, again, we've got some work here to do. We tested that 34 EMA, tried to sneak up there toward that 50, but weren't able to quite make it up there. So a lot of uncertainty still here in the market and with so much data coming our way, and who knows what happens next. If we take a look at our um, VIX, now our VIX had an interesting pullback on Friday, which was <laughs> just about as surprising as the other day where we didn't move hardly at all on a big bullish move. Um, we had weakness um, in the market on Friday, and yet we were able to push down through that bullish trend. So that's a good sign for the bulls, but unfortunately they didn't resolve that support level in the chart and break that down. So we have this little downtrend going on in, in here, and the question is going to be, will we bounce off of this area or we will we continue to fall through and show that uh, fear starting to subside in the market? I gotta tell you, with so much data coming our way, I wouldn't be all surprised to see that fear start to perk back up just a little bit, but we'll see. And then if we take a look at our T2122, our T2122, I was really, really hoping that our T2122 on Friday would be able to stretch right up here. I had placed some bear call credit spreads, but doggone it, didn't quite make it up here. And then we reversed back to the downside. So um, we still have some upside opportunity, as you can see in here. If we can find some inspiration for those bulls, then we certainly have upside opportunity. We also have considerable downside opportunity in this chart. Question, I think, for the cup, next couple of days is how are we going to deal with this uncertainty uh, as what comes next? And we'll talk about that here in just a second. But um, could we just continue to be stalled in this choppy range? Maybe. So just be a little bit careful here in the market as we prepare for a wild week of data. Let's take a look at our T2107. Now, T2107, well, not really helping us out here. Um, obviously, we didn't break through the lows, so I guess we can, you know, fingers crossed that we've got some hopefulness coming in here of holding a little bit better, but certainly our downtrends remain in place and quite a little bit of price resistance in the chart above that we still have to deal with in T2107. And 17% of the stocks holding above their 200A is not exactly bullish. If we take a look at T2108, certainly a better improved chart here on T2108. Still have downtrends in play that we have to deal with. Quite a bit of resistance in this chart that we're going to have to deal with as well. But it is hopeful that we see a little bit of an improvement here on those stocks trying to hold above their 40 day. 33% of our stocks, as you can see, held above our 40 day moving average. Now, unfortunately, T2101 isn't helping us out much at all here right now to see any kind of momentum. And the reason that is, guys, is we continue to suffer from very, very anemic volume, very weak volume as we've been rallying up. So I'm not exactly sure what that means, if that uncertainty is gonna be able to push us through or if those bears are gonna come back in and engage. We're just gonna have to wait and see. One thing I would caution everyone on is to be really careful. Remember, we are at or near price resistance levels in the chart. And as we continue in a bearish mo uh, mode here in the downtrend, then we need to be very respectful of those resistance levels. That is, we are exactly where the bears could re-engage. So be kind of careful with buying up long positions here. Let's take a look um, at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar and this week um, is gonna be interesting. We've got the calm before the storm here, as I wrote, or <laughs> calm before the economic hurricane. I, I wonder if Jamie Diamond's words will ring true here, or if it will be another Fed 
um, um, uh, issue where they tell us that the consumers are in great shape only to have another transitory um, um, uh, shall I say um, transitory type failure tall tale to um, um, come into play uh, if we find out they are not doing all that well. Well, as you can see this um, Monday, we don't have much going on. We got a three month and a six month bond auction um, and a three year auction with some fed speak out there tuesday is almost as light we're going to be doing an awful lot of waiting here um, we've got a 10-year auction that one will so certainly be important with the inversion that we have recently seen on the two tens and we've got some more fed speak in here that we'll want to be paying attention to but wednesday is when the fireworks start wednesday is when we're going to get that cpi number a reading on inflation everyone's kind of holding their breath on that um, and so we'll want to watch carefully for that we're going to have our PPI on Thursday and unfortunately Thursday is when we also begin the big bank earnings reports so if we didn't have enough to deal with um, we're going to kick off um, the third quarter earnings and uh, I guess it's it's up to you whether you think the consumers have done really well this last quarter or if we're going to see businesses begin to suffer on their earnings reports. We're also going to have that jobless claims and then we're going to bring up the bring it up here on Friday and roll in here with some retail sales and industrial production on Friday just adding to the pressure of this week and uncertainty so enjoy the calm before the storm because um, it could be pretty wild as we move into the end of this week let's take a look at our earnings calendar for today now our earnings calendar pretty light um, we would expect that to be reasonably light here um, as we kind of you know build up for the beginning of earnings season but we do have some notables here we want to pay attention to first off i've got azz on the list here today they're going to report this morning keep a close eye on that uh pmst pm whoa psmt there we go gotta learn how to type uh psmt will be reporting today so keep an eye on that and then voxx is also on the list for uh today so keep a close eye on those earnings reports um let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me this quick favor this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that quick favor and um, click those thumbs up buttons leave those brief comments um, that helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that I truly truly appreciate it and I also want to just give a big shout out to those folks who continue to support the channel with the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly awesome thank you so much um, you humble me every day let's take a look at a few stocks here that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security and as a matter of fact you need to be doing your own due diligence you need to be thinking very very careful about the risk of this market and particularly with the data coming our way we could probably expect some pretty big whipsaws overnight reversals um, about anything is going to be possible here in this market so plan your risk very carefully make sure it fits your own trading rules and trading style first off let's take a look at a few things in kind of that defensive sector area if you take a look at um, stocks like khc khc has been perking whoop that's a two day khc has been perking up here as you can see trying to lift up um, here to the upside some of these food sector stocks um, have been trying to come up now we've heard lots and lots of stories about a pending food crisis on the way 
we'll want to watch that carefully and see if these food stocks can continue to move higher. Possible higher low here, possible beginning of an upside trend. Let's keep an eye on that. I've mentioned CPB um, a few times and you can see CPB has been locked in this range after breaking back above resistance. So this would be that potential where it has that resumption of an upside trend here. As you can see that possibility pushing through. We just need those bulls to step up. Now I don't know if that trend is going to be here or if it's out here. I don't know that. But we'll want to watch that as long as they continue to hold this price support in here. That's something that we're going to want to pay attention to. And then um, take a look at stocks like uh, Coca-Cola. Coke has been moving up here, breaking the downtrend in the chart, holding some higher lows as you can see, struggling to move through a little bit of price resistance in the chart, but you'll want to keep an eye on that um, as these um, some of these defensive stocks do come up. Now, we do want to keep in mind that we're going to start rolling into these earnings reports, and so we're going to want to keep paying attention to when those earnings pop up. Now, TC2000 makes that real easy. I can put the next earnings date right there on the chart as you can see we've got the 26 showing up here on um, uh, coca-cola but that may be affected by this uh, tomorrow we've got uh, pepsico going to be reporting tomorrow so keep an eye on that uh, PepsiCo has broken that downtrend, moved up pretty sharply in uh, this anticipation for earnings. So breaking through some of that resistance, a rest or pullback could set up um, a next opportunity. But we may um, find this whole pattern messed up dramatically by that earnings report. So keep a close eye on some of those defensive sector stocks. Um, Take a look at, um, uh, whoops, MCK, not MKC. MCK, some of the healthcare sector has been really, really strong. Now, I have a little bit of a bias in the healthcare sector because I have picked up um, um, a basket um, ETF on some of the healthcare stocks. But take a look here at um, MCK. MCK, nice move here to the upside. This was a really strong pop on Friday, pushing on up. Now we still have this resistance in the chart that we need to deal with. So don't be surprised if this has to consolidate rest or even pull back into that trend to build enough energy to pop through. But I think you might want to keep an eye on MKC. Um, UNH would be another one that's looking really really good as you can see here in the chart moving up through that resistance nice little pattern here may need a little bit more time a little bit more rest in here had a good move on friday but let's see if that can start pushing on through if we can find that upside trend in here and start moving united healthcare up for those of you who like biotechs um um you can see there's been an awful lot of price movement in some of these biotechs. BIIB moving up sharply here. What's interesting about this chart is we're breaking this downtrend, trying to push through to the upside. Rest or pull back in here to follow that trend would set up that next opportunity. So keep an eye on some of those. Um, you can see um, Amgen. Amgen in here, another big bio. Um, rallying back up, holding some price support in the chart and trying to show some more upside so keep a close eye on that other places that you might want to look for some pretty good trades are some of these um, stocks that have been heavily beaten down um, take a look at stocks like Etsy Etsy breaking through its downtrend here to the upside looking for that um, opportunity that this may follow through and move on up notice we broke through that we're holding some price support in that chart that next opportunity to move up may be coming here soon in Etsy we see um, um, saw Roku make a move on Friday. Unfortunately, Roku hasn't been able to really prove that it can hold that 50-day moving average yet, but it's trying in here, and you can see those higher lows coming into play. We've got all of this resistance to deal with. Don't be surprised again if this has to pull back or if it has to rest out here before it gets that opportunity to move, but stocks like Roku, stocks like, um, I, I already mentioned Etsy, stocks like Snow, 
um, making some of those moves here to the upside. Uh, beautiful round and bottom breakout patterns, breaking through nice higher lows, setting up for that next opportunity out here for a potential upside move. Take a look at like UPS. UPS continuing to hold in there on that pattern that I've talked about many times. And I still think that rest and consolidation is possible out here watch for that opportunity that that could perk up and please guys keep in mind we've we're going to have to pay attention to these earnings reports heading into these there's a lot of stocks out here that are moving in these patterns and they're going to be approaching those earnings reports which could which could change everything you know earnings earnings has that ability to just rip a trader's face off we we see a good bullish candle we see a good bullish entry right over here we don't pay attention to that earnings report the next morning we get the earnings and man your face just gets ripped off as that thing as the stock gets tore up so you'll want to be very very careful because i do expect this earnings season could be extremely challenging remember we've had an economic downturn um, our consumers um, appear to be under tremendous stress with high prices in housing, high prices in fuel, uh, and high prices in food. And that's creating quite a few pressures and some of that discretionary spending has pulled back dramatically. So we'll see if it starts to show up in some of these earnings reports. Remember, stocks that miss here lately have been really heavily punished. So make sure you have your plans in place. Make sure you understand the risk of area trade and make sure every stock that you hold, you're paying close attention to those earnings reports and when that report is going to come around. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. It's probably going to be another hurry up and wait kind of day as we wait for these data points to come our direction. Be safe, be careful, trade wisely. And I'll see you right back here, bright and early, Tuesday morning. Have a great day, everyone.